John, you could have warned me about the steps. You know, you were here first. You come, you get here, you look in, you saw me coming. You could have said something. You knew I was just here to run in. I don't know, but there's no angels in here. The women said they saw angels, but there aren't any in here. There's nobody. It's just me and... Um, John? John, he's gone. They, they got one thing right. He's gone. No, it's just, it's just the linens that he was wrapped in. They're here. No, no, they're not all covered, or they're not all uh, messed up. They're just, they're all folded neatly. Yeah, it, it, I don't know. And yeah, the, the, the headpiece is over there. No, I, I have no idea. I mean, if someone were going to come and take the body, they would have just grabbed him all the way and just taken off. Or even if they were going to leave the lens for some reason, I can't imagine they would have taken the time to fold him. I mean, they really did a nice job of folding him. I know, why don't you come and see for yourself? I, this doesn't make any sense. I mean, look, the stones rolled away. I don't know who did that. The women certainly didn't. And, and then, of course, the soldiers are gone. There's no sign of a scuffle out in the dirt out there. There's a little bit of a sign of a scuffle in here, but that's where I fell. I don't know. What do you think? Risen from the dead? I don't think so. I mean, people don't just rise from the dead, you know. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. We've seen lots of people rise from the dead. That's one of those things when you're following Jesus around. I mean, you had Jairus' daughter. It's kind of weird. But he rose her, he raised her from the dead. And, well, Lazarus, that was what, a week or two ago? Yeah, I know, four days, and this was only three. But John, you know what? It's a little different when you're raising yourself from the dead. You know, it's one thing to be able to raise others. Even the prophets raised others, but none of them raised themselves from the dead. Raising yourself from the dead, that's something else entirely. How do you raise yourself when you're dead? Look, John, I know what you're thinking, all right? But Jesus, he can't raise himself from the dead. I mean, look, he knew he wasn't coming back, all right? We saw him die. We saw them beat him, all right? We saw them put the nails in his hands and his feet, and we saw them put the spear in his side, we saw the blood and water flow, and you know that that means that he was dead. All right, you don't get more dead than that. And besides that, when he was hanging on that cross, he saw you, you were there, and he told you, you know, woman, behold your son, behold your mother. He was putting Mary in your care. As the firstborn son, it was his responsibility to make sure that she was cared for. He knew he wasn't going to be around, and so he put her in your care. He wouldn't have done that if he was planning on being around. Look, John, I know you want him back, all right? It's just not happening. All right? No, I can't explain this, all right? But... Risen from the dead does not enter into one of the options. Look, even if he is risen from the dead, well, let's just say I hope he's not, all right? Yeah, fine, so it's a horrible thing to say. Put yourself in my shoes. There we were. It was the night he was betrayed, and... He said that we were going to betray him. He said we were going to turn away from him and flee. And there was me standing there, knighter, hand on the sword, saying, 
saying, no, Lord, I'm willing to die for you. John, I couldn't even stay awake for him. He's out in the garden, and it was the worst night of his life. I mean, he's out there, and, and he's so upset that he's sweating blood. And we couldn't even stay awake for him. All we had to do was just get up and walk around while he was gone to stay awake, and we couldn't even do that. Yeah, I know you did that too, but but then when the soldiers came, and you know, here's me drawing the sword again, and once again Jesus has to reprimand me and clean up after me. And then we all took off. Great friends we are. Willing to fight for you to the death until we actually have to. Yeah, I know, you too. But you know the rest of the story, John. You were there. I was all ready to fight against the garrison of Roman soldiers, but I couldn't stand up to a little slave girl. As soon as I get in there and she says, and, and remember, Jesus was standing within earshot. And she says, hey, aren't you one of those guys that was with him? And here's me, ready to go to my death for him, saying, oh, no, 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 I, who? I don't know who you're talking about. Jesus? Jesus who? There's, there's faith for you, huh? Two more times. I mean, you know, the guy that was the, the cousin of the guy whose ear I cut off. Man, I was scared. But the thing is, Jesus heard me. He warned me. He knew that I was going to do that. And then the rooster crowed. And then I remember. I remember what he said. And John, I know you were there. But you didn't see the look that he gave me. Because he heard me say it. And when he heard me say it the third time, and he heard the rooster grow, he looked right at me. And John, you have never seen such sadness. I mean, those eyes. John, I really hope that he's not risen from the dead because I don't want to see his eyes again. I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't bear it. I don't know. I gotta go home and check on my family and see how they're doing. My wife's been worried about me. I'll catch up with you guys later. Guys, it's Peter, let me in. Thanks for unlocking the door. Where have I been? I've been home. Didn't John, didn't John tell you? You look for me there. I've been staying out of the way, okay? You know me. Stay out of the way, avoid trouble, avoid confrontation, make sure that you keep yourself safe, because that's all that matters. It's my new goal in life, I guess, apparently. So you guys have still been hearing stories, huh? I don't know what to tell you. I don't... Lord. Knock it out, shut up, John. It's just a ghost. He's coming to haunt me. Jack, told you. I don't understand, Paul. Food? Um, yeah, there's some fish and some honey. Help yourself. No, I know they ghosts don't eat. And he's gone. Okay, 
find John. So he's risen from the dead. All right? You were right. I was wrong. You happy now? No, he didn't look at me like that. Yes, I heard him say, peace to you. All right? Maybe peace to you. But not for me. All right? I turned my back on him. I betrayed him. John, you remember what he said. All right? He said, if you acknowledge me before men, I will acknowledge you before my Father in heaven. But if you deny me before men, I will deny you before my Father in heaven. And John, I deny him. So he's going to deny me. So. Where are you talking? Fine. Yes, John, of course I confess my sin. I've been confessing my sin for 48 hours straight. Haven't you noticed? Of course I'm sorry. Of course I'm sorry for my sin. I think that's pretty obvious by now. John, you can't forgive me. I mean, that's great and all, but... Yeah, I heard what he said. What did he say? He said, whatever sins you forgive are forgiven, or whatever sins you retain are retained. But, John, that's different. Yeah, I know he forgave a lot of people, but forgiving me is something else entirely. No, I don't think that I'm more special than anybody else. John, you just don't get it. Alright? When it was him up there hanging on the cross, I couldn't even go up there. John, that should have been me up there on that cross, not him. Yeah, yeah, I think he knew that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's probably why he was up there. You really think so? Do you really think that he could forgive me? I'll tell you one thing. If he can forgive me, then he can forgive everybody here. There's no question about that. You're right. You're right. Of course he forgives me. He's Jesus. That's what he does. All right. You're right, John. It is good news that he's risen. <laughs> it's the best news in the world. He is 